Hi guys, welcome. So, um, I'm going to be doing a video about the top, well not the top 10, um, the last game to release on most systems. Now, what is it? It's going to be North American only, unless I say so, mainly because I couldn't really buy many concrete answers, because one of them had about six answers. I just, I want, like, a proper answer, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, let's get to it. So, the Atari 5200 was the first class service for this last game, which was Gremlins, coming out in 1987. The Atari 2600, last game was Clax, that came out in 1990. The Atari 7800 was last game was Centennial in Europe, which came out in 1991. The Atari Lynx, this last game was Super Asteroid and Missile Command. Right, on to Nintendo. Okay. That's the Nintendo NES game because when the SNES came out, the NES was still existing at the time and it was mostly porting over like puzzle games, etc. And the last game to do that, well, officially, was Wario's Woods coming out in December 1994. Right, the SNES, and also surprisingly, the Sega Genesis for that matter, the last game for that was Frogger coming out in October 1998. Oh no, the Virtual Boy. Now, the Virtual Boy was a, was a failure for and for you didn't. just uninspiring and not worth it. It was all red and everything. The last game for that was 3D Tetris, coming out about a year after um, the original release, and it did not save it yeah, at all. Like, at all. Right. The original Game Boy, that little brick. What was that last game? It was Pokemon Yellow, coming out on October 19, 1999. Loads of nights. I'm on to that matter. So, the N64. Now, you might know how the, how the N64 came out in 1996. It only had a six year life. It died out in. It, the last game for that was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 in 2002, which was a launch title for GameCube. It came out less than a year after the GameCube. Less than a year after the GameCube released. I mean, I feel a bit bad for you if you're an N64 user. Actually, you probably would have had your phone with the console by that point. Right, the game would colour. What many people, I don't really consider it a full console, I just consider more of a, a revision, I suppose you could say. However, the last game for that was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets from November 2002. Right, next game is the GameCube. Brilliant console. Last game, like most things, is a sports game. Madden NFL 2008. That came out in August 2007. Right, the GBA. So this one, I couldn't really find an um, American one, so I had to actually look to Japan. So the last one was Samurai Deeper Kyo in, in February 2008. I'm, I'm not sh shocked you do. You are like the vegan DS route, but the GBA is still going. <laughs> the Nintendo DS is the last game, well, as of recording, was a, was a game called Fish the now you might not know about this as it, as it's a DSI work game, but it came out in, two, in February 2015. I was about the time when they announced Club Nintendo was shutting down. Oh dear. Right, the Wii. Now this one's the most recent on the list, as it is just down to 2020. It came out in November of last year, as of course. The Wii U, at the moment, I know it's getting new. It, get, it still gets new games on the eShop, but the last physical release was The Legend of Zelda The Breath, Breath of the Wild that came out with the Nintendo Switch in March 2017. Right, on to Sega. Now, as I've already said, the Genesis and the NCS was the last game to Frogger. This one will be the Master System's last game, Sonic the Hedgehog, coming out in 1991. However, it was a much downgraded version of the Genesis version, and yeah, it would definitely, definitely be very good. Sega Saturn, failure to the nth degree. Anyway, the last game for that was Magic at Night Ray Earth, that came out in November 1998. The Dreamcast, the, that console that, that ruled supreme until the PS2 came out. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, that last game was surprisingly four years after it released. 
which was NHL 2K2 in February in February 2002. However, if you want to look be a bit more smart with that, in the Japanese one, there was a game called Karos that came in March 2007. I was mad at that. <laughs> right, on to Sony. Now, the funny thing is, all these are surprisingly sports games. So the PS1's last game was FIFA Football 2005. Well, it's FIFA Soccer, but... It's football, 100%. Coming out in October 2004. The PS2's last game, I actually, well I don't like the PS2 version, I own the PS3 version, well, there's PES 2000 Pro Evolution Soccer 2014, which came out in September 2013, and the last one for the PS3, which is the second most recent on this, surprisingly, was FIFA 19, coming out in September 2018. Alright, finally, Xbox. Just the OG Xbox, because the Xbox 360 doesn't, is still technically going. Anyway, that last game is Madden 2009 coming out August 2008. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, th this video was very strange to me because um, I just thought of this on the spot. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, subscribe and comment. And uh, yeah, bye.